Hey everybody, so here I am after my first week of gyms. Just thinking about what I did during the week and a couple of the highlights and some of the challenges that I worked through during the week. Overall, really good week. Uh, I did about five jobs, which isn't a huge amount of jobs, but I still managed to I make 12.39, so 1,239. So I cleared probably 1,000 in the first week, but just reminding everybody that I'm in a new region. I'm not taking on somebody's um, previous clients or a, or a split. I decided I wanted to just build my business slowly and I'm in the, I guess in the, in the situation where I can do that initially, which is really helpful. Um, so I've got a couple of notes here just to make sure I stay on track. Um, so don't be surprised if you underquote. Now that's probably one of the most challenging things that I found this week was just working out your time and your hours. But I guess one of the good things is that whatever you charge, even if you do undercharge slightly, maybe by an hour or two, um, you're still getting that experience that you need to learn for the next job. So don't get down on yourself if you don't quote effectively. I had a job, um, I think it was on Tuesday that I did, that was a really full on job. A, a, a person was moving out of their, their rental and I don't think the lawn had been maintained in the last several years. So it was really high, lots of weeds. It was a job that I thought might take me about maybe three to four hours, maybe, um, at the very worst, but it ended up taking me most of the day. Um, so I ended up probably quoting for about three hours and ended up being about five and a half hours by the time I finished. So really, I pretty much un underquoted that by double. So I should have probably doubled my amount of money, especially because there was so much work to be done. And you find also too, there's got to be a, a time that you say enough's enough as well. I think I'm a bit of a perfectionist as well, so it's important that you, you set, I guess, um, an expectation of how far you will go with a job, otherwise you'll just find yourself doing more and more work for free. Um, so just communicate with your customer. Another big thing is I found this week with weeds, it's a really hard one to um, quote or time, because sometimes it can be just you could just be doing it for hours and hours depending on the, the size of the yard. So a good tip that I read through my training and listened to through the YouTube videos that you might go through was just to maybe quote the customer for the first hour and say, look, let's just see how we go for the first hour and break that down in your quote and say up to an hour possibly for, for um, weeding. And then that gives you an opportunity to say, well, that's what I spoke about in the quote. And also that I guess you can add more time to that if the customer wants more time. So I guess the more upfront you are with the customer initially and the more you can communicate with them, the less problems you might have down the track if, um, if they don't feel that you're on the same page. So communication is really key. Um, another one was um, the systems, learn the new systems. So, so getting, the, getting the text through the day from um, Jim's jobs, um, especially when you're brand new, it, it takes a little bit of getting used to because obviously you've got to call that person very quickly in the first few minutes and you might be right into a job and then you've got to break that job, think about the customer, talk to the customer, uh, work at a time of, of actually quoting that customer as well. So sometimes if you, you're running behind in your day, especially if you're under quoting initially, you might get a bit frustrated because then you've got to go and, and see that customer at 5.30. Um, in the afternoon, so I found I was I had a few late nights just this first week Getting used to the invoicing or getting used to the quoting getting used to um, I guess learning all those new systems because you've got Jim's jobs. You've got Jim's online um, Amongst other learning management systems and different things they have as well. So It will take you a little bit to get used to those systems and that's okay uh, The other thing I had I had my gym's job set to about three leads max. Now I am just about to come into spring as of tomorrow, so it's a good time to start a new franchise coming into spring and into summer because the mows go through the roof and, and that the work will start coming in. So I just wanted to get an understanding, and that was in um, in discussions with my franchisor. He said probably try to put three max leads for your first first week. So pretty much every day I think I've got three max leads each day. So. Um, so that was good, I don't know if there would have been any more than that, but I think that was a, a pretty good limit for my first week, just to get, understand the process. Um, I even found, uh, just on yesterday, I did a few more quotes for the next week, so the good thing is, is that I'm putting jobs into next week, so I should be in a much better position financially by the end of the week as well. So 
it's surprising i only did five jobs this week and still i made a reasonable income so and that's starting from from scratch so that's a really good thing um the other thing is landscaping jobs now i got i put down for landscaping jobs as part of um your, your setting up of gyms online and i think that's a it's a really good job to be able to put down like just be honest with your customer if a customer says i want this fully decked out i want um you know paving laid down i want you know all this extra stuff that you probably don't feel confident with just be honest with your customer and say look i don't think that's um within my realm or skill level currently and um and try to hand the job on to one of the other gyms guys um that will have that more experience potentially so be up front with your customer because i think it will save you a complaint and you'll be honest with them and they'll appreciate that rather than waste their time and get there and really struggle with the job also on the other side of that don't um you know give yourself a chance as well because if you go and look at the job and you find that you might be able to do it i had one landscaping job this week where i turned up and it was a young lady um she's like what do you what do you reckon i should do with the garden now i wasn't really sure it's my first few days um so i just said to her that you know why don't we clean up the garden we want to do a remulch i'll trim those trees back for you prune it up and just make it look really nice now she said she had more work in the backyard as well and and that was nothing that's something i haven't done before so it actually ended up looking really great by the end of it and she was really impressed and potentially there's another job down the line there for that as well because because i had a crack whereas i probably didn't have a lot of confidence in that stage initially so so don't doubt yourself have a crack at it and um you know but also don't throw yourself in something that you think's way out of your your leg as well um i had another landscaping job that i got quoted that was in a really fancy estate lots of bmws and and a bit of a fancy little area and they wanted paving laid down and i ended up just having to say to them look um i, I don't think i'm the right person for the job currently and then i i liaise with my franchisor to make sure that that job could be fulfilled and and threw it back to the the other franchisees as well um so so that was a, a hopefully a better result than going in and the customer being upset because i couldn't deliver what they requested of me so really important customer service a couple of the really big highlights for me this week is just how much fun it is liaising with the customer um getting to know the customers and putting the quote out there and actually winning the quote i had i had 100 percent success rate this week with my five quotes and the work that i carried out i've got another two quotes out there for next week and i had one that obviously i couldn't quote in the end because i felt it was out of my out of my realm of um, skills at the moment anyway for now so um so yeah that was a pretty good success rate in the first week and that was actually real fun uh, dealing with the customers which was quite surprising i'm not generally a, a phone person i'm quite introverted person but customer service has always been something that's been really important to me and also looking after people and, and trying to do the best I can with everything that I do. So great first week. I've had a bit of a, a ride out ride out into Numbar Valley. This is where I am. This is kind of where my first start of my vlogging or commence. When I finished work three months ago, I talked about doing gyms and so it's kind of cool to come back to this very first point of my, my first vlog and and just see how far i've come so i feel so much better i found myself smiling a lot laughing a lot and having a lot more fun through the week and just feeling that independence of running your own business is really exciting so if you're thinking about some getting into the business for yourself in jim's mowing particularly it's it's a great option and i think you should really consider it so i'm off for another ride and uh, i might show a bit of footage through the clip of the beautiful place i get to spend out here in the, the back hinterland of the Gold Coast. See you all later.